Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Paris. I am so excited to be here. As most of you know, this is the first time I've ever left the United States and I've been able to go to London and Paris within one week. I'm gonna roam around the city and share my experiences with you. We're gonna check out all the sights to see and eat some of the delicious food and just have a beautiful Paris kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. The fact that I woke up this morning and walked out of my hotel and this was the view literally almost made me tear up and I am so excited to be here. I'm not even joking with you when I say I literally walk out my door and immediately see the Eiffel Tower and that is just so crazy and awesome. And in fact, I think that's where we're gonna start the day off. We're gonna head to the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is definitely 100% bigger than I thought it was and I think you could take an elevator all the way to the top so that's what we're gonna go do. The wait to get up into the Eiffel Tower can be a long wait. Two to four hours just to buy the ticket so we opted in to actually get a tour guide that's gonna give us access right up to the top and I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. We have our little own tour guide of Eiffel Tower. We do have to go through security before we go in the Eiffel Tower and you just can't bring some of the usual suspects of things, but it should be pretty easy. The tour cost us 120 euros, but trust me when I say it really comes in handy because you can make prior reservations, but they sell out days in advance. And if you come here uh, later in the evening, like I said, you would have to wait two to maybe three hours just to buy the ticket. So it's pretty nifty. And ask if you're staying around at the hotels, ask your concierge if they know any good tours or anything like that, because they could probably help you find out how to get tickets. Once you get inside, they actually have a ticket where you can climb the steps or they have a ticket where you can take the lift up. Either way, the line is always backed up. But look at how massive this is when you're at the base. I mean, this is going to be amazing. I am so excited. It looks so beautiful. I am very excited to visit Disneyland Paris, which we are gonna do, I think, tomorrow. Uh, today is just about exploring the city, doing all the fun stuff. And as you can tell, like I, I'm very excited. I'm wearing all my Disney 100 uh, Roosevelt gear. I've got the special little Disney 100 Roosevelt hat, and then also my hoodie, and I cannot wait. It's gonna be such a great time. i probably stick out like a sore thumb, though. If you do end up bringing any of the things that aren't allowed, they give you a little box that you can actually kind of dispose of them. And look at this, you got butter knives, you got locks, bottles, scissors. Is that a steak knife? Why is somebody walking around with a steak knife? How about the butter knife? But yeah, the butter knife I don't understand. The steak knife I don't understand. The lockets are for that locket area. The lock for the uh, bridge. Yeah, for the bridge. But it's just so funny, isn't it? Look at it all in there. I feel like I should con contribute something. I'm going to try my best whenever I try to pronounce certain places here in Paris itself because I don't speak French and I'm not really good at pronunciation. So uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do my best and uh, try to learn a little bit while I'm here as well. This is the lift to actually get up to the Eiffel. Oh, there it goes. I can't wait. It seems like we're going like a, a big slant. Uh, about two minutes. They definitely pack a lot of people in here. I think it's over 50 people. 56, 57. It's a double decker. Uh oh. It's a double decker elevator. Double decker. A double decker. That's also one of the first no smoking signs I've seen in France. Oh, we're going back. Bring me back up. Okay, so we made it to the second floor. We have to transfer over to another lift to go all the way up. But I do have to give you guys a warning. It's going to be a little bit windy up there. So it might mess with the audio, especially with the, the mic cover on there. So I'll try my best to cover it. Oh, yes. Look at this view. Holy moly. Oh, my Lord. Wow. I have never seen such a beautiful view before. Wow. 
It's gorgeous up here. The Eiffel Tower has been painted many colors over the years and in fact, like I mentioned, when they first built it, it was only supposed to be here for 10 years, so they've had to repaint it 20 times and because they are hosting the Olympics coming up, they are repainting it again and they're painting it gold, but the color that they have right now is Eiffel Brown and that's actually a trademarked color, Eiffel Brown. And to think we are only halfway there. We still have to go all the way up there. That's crazy, isn't it? Eiffel Brown. Another fun fact, there has been an elevator inside the Eiffel Tower since it first opened in the 1800s. So that's why it was such a modern marvel because there was an outdoor elevator and it was actually made by Otis, which is still in operation today. A lot of elevators you may get into, you'll see Otis on there. And I think that's just so cool. You know what I mean? I always thought, you know what I mean? Elevators were such a modern thing but it's literally been here since the opening we actually have a really cool treat because we get a preview of what the gold Eiffel Tower is gonna look like and it's not really that gold but you can see this is where it separates right here here's a good point right here you can see one side of the other look at that this is Eiffel Brown this is Olympic gold we can call it I think on this second floor, they also have a little shop. They have some food. They have some place to get some drinks. I really think we need to get some champagne and sip it on the Eiffel Tower. That is definitely uh, something to check off the bucket list. One of my favorite little fun facts that I learned is this large black building straight ahead of us. This was constructed in, they said, the 1960s uh, to make Paris look a little bit more modern. And it kind of ruins the sight line itself. And the French people were so upset about it. There were plans to actually make four of them. Uh, and after the first one was constructed, they, uh, the French people went on strike and they uh, stopped the other three buildings from getting built and eventually made it known that no other buildings could actually tower higher than seven floors I think they said I think they said seven floors and to this day they call it the uh, French middle finger and it kind of looks like it you have to kind of go all the way around the Eiffel Tower to get just views of each side of it. You know what I mean? There's a different sight line from each one and I'm going to try to show you the best that I can. It is so stunning though from what I saw already. This is the other viewing area and this one's a beautiful one too because you can see Notre Dame, you can see the Louvre over there. I really kind of want to go to the Louvre and then also Concours Square where they actually actually had the guillotine there and that's where they actually cut people's heads off and isn't it just amazing I mean this is stunning I I just I really do love it here in fact the last time somebody was beheaded was in 1970 1970 so that wasn't that long ago it was also the same time Star Wars came out so people were watching <laughs> Han Solo or Harrison Ford and uh, also getting their heads cut off. I'm not even sure if this works or not, but you really don't even need it. I mean, you can, I mean, you can use it to get a closer look at things, but you kind of get it all in one shot already. Look at that. Incredible. All right, we're gonna try to make our way to the top, get in this separate elevator. There's two different elevators, like I mentioned. It's very, very windy and crowded. Everybody's getting warm from the body heat. <laughs> wow. That was such a long ride up, but it was really cool. And the one part is actually outside, and I think you can buy champagne up here. We're gonna look for some champagne. But we're not. I know we're not all the way up. I was like, I can't believe we're all the way up. We actually have to go up more stairs to get all the way up. This is actually all the way up. Wow. 
Holy wow. Now this is a view. Before I was talking about how there were multiple sides, you can see almost everything from one up here. Incredible. You can see Gusto Eiffel inside there. How cool is that? Wow. This is such a cool thing to see. And if you ever watched uh, Tomorrowland, this uh, kind of reminds me of that scene. That was such a great movie. It must have been pretty amazing. Thomas Edison, Gusto Eiffel, all just sitting up here having some tea. <laughs> what a time to be alive then, huh? At the very top, you can actually purchase champagne, caviar, macarons, or macarons, and uh, they actually come in a little collectible box, 24 euro. I think I'm gonna get some champagne. Look at that. A little bubbly, celebrate the occasion. It is very windy, so the sound probably isn't the best, but we got ourselves some rosé, and then here's the uh, macarons. Look at that. That is such a cute little thing. Oh, oh wow. I, I think I'm going to get some too. Cheers to the Eiffel Tower. Look at us. All the way up. It's very good. Rosé. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try some of my macarons here. I think this is pistachio and that's my favorite so pistachio first. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way because I feel like it's more appropriate with the view in the background, you know? So, my first Eiffel Tower macaron. It is pistachio and it is amazing. I might get another. Look at that. That's a good macaron. I don't know. Macron. Macron. I was gonna I was gonna save them all, but then even DTH said, what are you gonna save them for? Like I'd rather eat them here with this view than eat them at home in my apartment. <laughs> you know what I mean? True story. Right? True story. It's also perfect that our rose actually fits just like that. Look at that. I mean, that's a long drop. I'm sure people have lost their cell phones. You can only imagine what happens to them, right? Oh, man. It's like well, story, would it hit uh, the second floor? I don't even know. Would it hit the second floor? Oh, uh, yeah. It probably hit the second Well, that was remarkable. I loved visiting the Eiffel Tower. And now I think we're going to make our way across the street. Maybe get on a big bus. Maybe do some sightseeing. Now that we've accomplished going all the way up to the top of the Eiffel Tower, we actually just came across the road and I think they have a little market over here. Look at this. There is quite a lot to do in Paris and one of the things I'm most excited about is going to see Moulin Rouge and we are doing that tonight. We're actually going to see Moulin Rouge in Paris and that is going to be epic. I can't wait to actually show you that because that's something I've always dreamt of doing. We stumbled upon a nice little market in here and I think I'm gonna browse around a little bit Maybe get something to eat. Oh my lord This looks too good There's so much food. This is a nice spot oh, I don't even know where to begin Right? Oh, there's a lot dude. There's a lot in here. Holy moly we might, we might have to pull a Steve and get an Aperol Spritz to start off with before we head back down. Yes, we should. We got to get an Aperol Spritz for Steve. This is this will be for you, Steve. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Cheers, buddy boy. I spilled it. Take a look at this little cheese stand here. Or well, Italian stand. They've got the cheese blocks right out front. Looks like they're tossing them right inside there. Holy moly, I mean, you got, I mean, I'm not the, you know, biggest, like, cheese fan, but this looks absolutely insane. I think we've got some berzook back there, and this all looks amazing. Oh, over here, they're actually cooking up hamburgers. Fresh hamburger, oh, <laughs> hamburger, hamburger. <laughs> Lee New York, oh, the Lee New York actually looks pretty good. Little steak frites, wow. I'm kind of torn, I don't know what to get. I'm hungry. Look at the Lee Royale. Oh, everything looks amazing on this little market right here. 
The smell coming out of this place is just phenomenal. Looking at all the food, I'm getting super hungry now. Are you welcome to try the one of the best food? Oh yeah, it looks like it is. Look at this. Wow. I just had breakfast, but I'm ready for more. <laughs> that market is actually really fun and it's nice because it's right next to the Eiffel Tower. Super touristy, but still it's very nice and it's very convenient. And now I'm up on the bridge where I get a better look at the Eiffel Tower and wow, it's impressive. Every single building I've seen so far just looks immaculate and so cool. I'm sure it's a little bit windy out, so you might hear some wind from the mic, but look at that. Isn't that a view? All of this is. I could stand here for such a long time and just look at everything. You have to be aware though, this is a touristy area, just like Times Square, so there's a lot of, you know, crime and people actually picking on tourist and unexpected you know bystanders so please be careful i think now we're gonna move out of the eiffel tower area hop on one of the big buses the double deckers and uh go explore around the city a little bit public transportation is probably the cheapest and fastest way to get around but i like taking the big buses because you get a higher perspective when you're sitting up top and for me filming stuff it, it kind of makes more sense you know what i mean and it can get super cold so make sure you're wearing a nice little comfy coat it was uh 59 is it 59 dollars euro 59 euro 59 euro. Yeah. 59 euro and we actually get to do the hop on hop off and then the river cruise once you can't hop on hop off for the river cruise but we do have uh any time to actually go do it and this is good for 24 hours a whole 24 hours and the boat is good anytime oh yeah the boat is good anytime anytime you look so fancy. You look like you belong here. No. This is the land of your people. <laughs> All right, here we go. Big bus time. We're going up top, though. You got to go up top. That's the only way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> they actually have a really nice narration that gives you some history about the city, too. And they give you some headphones. Put it to 11. This literally might be the prettiest bus tour I think I've ever been on. Better than New York, better than London. This is gorgeous. Wow. This is beautiful. I wish you can actually hear what I'm listening to. I tried putting the uh, headphones on the mic, but I don't know if it came out, but it is so awesome and very like knowledgeable. Well, not knowledgeable, very educational. But take a look at this, Notre Dame. Wow. Look at it. Holy moly. It's actually an island I just found out from the uh, audio recordings and they're repairing it because of the fire. But that's amazing. I think we're gonna keep making our way on the big bus all the way to the Louvre and I'm excited. There's a lot of great things I wanna check out in there. And this whole area right here is beautiful. Tommy Hilfiger right on the corner there, look at that. Look at Olympia. Look at this beautiful view looking down this street right here. I also want to use some of the public transportation here. You guys know I love that, but this is beautiful. 
the big bus was such a great idea and like i said we have 24 hours we can get on and off as much as we like plus we can still do the river boat and now we're gonna kind of take off from here on foot so that we can uh get a little bit closer to the louvre what did you say uber boat no oh i wish we were on an uber boat it's the only thing i didn't get to do in london i wanted an uber boat this trip has been non-stop and I've been loving every single second of it, but I think we need to stop and get some coffee. And let me tell you something, the coffee that I've had so far here in Paris and just in France has been spectacular. Some of the best coffee I've ever had in my whole entire life. And we have this nice little spot right here, right outside, sitting on a table, drinking some coffee, and the views are always just so beautiful. Look at this. Find distinguished gentlemen right here. You know you're doing it right when you're having coffee and champagne together. Pinky up, darling. Honestly, I'm so hyped up from all this coffee. I don't stop though. Like, it doesn't stop. Yours looks really good. You like that? What is it? It's cappuccino. A little cappuccino? Yeah, nice Larry. Look at that. It's beautiful. And, like, my coffee, like, let me show you how frothy this is. I already kind of like, look at this. Look at that. I'm not even joking when I say I teared up a couple times already. Just, just today. Just today. Like, not like just emotional you know everyone can get a little emotional but right now i'm having a moment i'm enjoying my life right now i'm enjoying what i'm looking at drinking coffee and just really uh, you know catching a vibe you know if there's one thing i would love to do in paris it's rent one of those scooters and drive around a little bit even if it's a two-person one. Oh, me and you <laughs> Yeah, hold the back of me up, I, I, like Dumb I, and Dumber. I, I, I get, I get back. I get okay. Back. I get back. <laughs> Can you imagine us just scooting around oh, the world? It, it would be like you and uh, what's this racial from uh, Spitalfield all over again. Like, oh, could, yeah, Radcliffe. A, right, I, 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 could, I could be your Radcliffe. I could be your Radcliffe, baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. Can you guys see the building? It's it's like it's invisible. It's all mirrors and that's the skyline right there. It's right in front of us. I, it's blowing my mind. It's sad somebody put a little graffiti on it though. I wish I could clean that off. I would clean it off right now. I'm gonna mop that floor, gonna make it shine. We're gonna take off the spray paint with turpentine. It looks like we've made our way to the Louvre. Gonna go see Mona Lisa, a lot of other artwork. I also want to go back and see the, the Thinking Man, the actual Thinking Man. Oh, wow, this is big. You think Tom Hanks is here? Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Robert da Lincoln. Vinci Code. A little Robert Langdon action. Robert Langdon. We're walking in the backside here, and I think we're gonna be coming out to like the big glass pyramid. Oh, and here comes the pyramids. I knew it. This is awesome. Look at this. Wow. This is something else, isn't it? Holy moly. I feel like I just got transported into a different world. Oh, I got goosebumps. I literally did. I, I, this is unbelievable. It's honestly overwhelming how beautiful and amazing it is here. I just keep on like spinning in circles. I'm trying to keep the video like in a nice flow, but it's so hard when I'm just like <laughs> geeking out. I'm an emotional wreck. I'm just full of happiness and it's, it's beautiful. Everything is just so beautiful here. This is by far my favorite destination. I already know this. I, like, I've only been here for a couple of hours and I already know that I'm gonna love Paris forever. We have been stopping quite frequently just to sit down and take in the atmosphere. It's really awesome how everywhere you go in Paris they have outdoor seating so you can actually sit down, enjoy, drink a little champagne, smoke a cigarette because they're smoking everywhere if you wanted to, in fact, I might indulge in a cigarette. Might uh, might actually have one, you know? Be like uh, Walt Disney. 
there is a nice little cafe or restaurant right next or well, right inside the Louvre here and I think we're gonna sit down and maybe grab uh, maybe a drink having some rosé beautiful right look at this it's probably the best place to actually sip on some rosé yeah, know. you know I, fancy again. I feel fancy I've been feeling fancy since I got here <laughs> non-stop fancy the fancy meter is at 11 as amazing as this place is it looks like the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays Tuesdays that's what we get for not planning yeah but it's all about the experience and we're gonna come back and visit it but it would have been nice to show you I would have loved to see uh, you know Mona Lisa in there and plus there's a lot more you know what I mean I know we say Mona Lisa because that's the most iconic thing that you would think of immediately but uh, yeah in due time we will we will be back we will me and DTH just actually hopped up on those blocks and took photos touching the top of the pyramid and it was fun it was fun it's a good time it's fun sometimes you gotta do the cheesy stuff yeah and, you know every now and then now I think we're gonna move along come back on a day that's not Tuesday today bloody Tuesday today is gonna be the day that they're not opening up the Louvre by now we should have somehow realized that we need to plan <laughs> for some reason I feel much more colder here in Paris than I did in London and it's like the same temperatures but I think it's more windy and chilly I think that's what's happening but maybe because we're by the water right now it was very cold underneath the Eiffel Tower though I felt like it was a wind tunnel as you're walking around outside the Louvre, they actually have a lot of art, like little uh, kiosks here, and it's really pretty. Oh, look at Mickey Mouse right here. Look at that, fancy. I like that, you got Betty Boop there. You've got Babar. It's really nice. All of this is nice, some comics. Maybe I'll get some, some art, you know? Oh, there's the Mona Lisa. All the nice iconic spots to come visit. I'd like to see the Eiffel Tower at night. That's got to be pretty pretty. It's got to be pretty pretty, you know? Since we can't get into the Louvre today, we decided to make our way up to the Basilica Sacred Heart of Montmartre. I think I'm saying it right. But uh, yeah, we seen it when we were up at the Eiffel Tower and it looked beautiful. So we figured we'd go up there and check it out. And I'm sure it's going to look even better in person once we get there. And holy moly, I was right. Look at that. Wow, this is awesome. What a monument right here. I mean, <laughs> tremendous. It's really cool to see all these love locks up here and also to see where we just came from. This is the view from Sacred Heart, but then you can see the Eiffel Tower all the way over there. And that's where we were actually on the top there. And wow, this is truly an <laughs> amazing thing to see. Wow, look at that. It's very busy up here. I mean, we're far out of like, you know, Paris, like away from the Eiffel Tower and everything like that. It was only about a 20 minute ride, so it's not too bad. It's very artsy up here. You can see some, you know, music and street performers, and they even sell art on the courtyard itself. Oh wow, look at these stairs. Look at this. We're gonna see if we can actually just go inside. I think we can. We're lining up for something, and they're saying stuff over the loudspeaker. So I'm assuming it's just a walkthrough. Once we get inside, I'm not going to be able to film much. I think I can film the entryway. They say no filming, but I mean, a lot of people walk around with their phones, but I want to be respectful. And also, they asked everyone to be quiet. So I just want to give you guys a heads up, but we're going inside and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to take my breath away. Silence from this point on though, guys, but I'll show you some on the inside. That was really amazing in there. And you can light a candle if you want to. They have little spots where you can drop some euros or they even had electronic payment that you can uh, tap your card and uh, 
donate to light a candle. It was really cool to see that in person. It was really something else, something very special. Now we're going to make our way to the top for the panoramic view from the dome, actually. But to make our way up to the top, we have to go down below. Look at this. This is so fancy. Oh, wow. I know. Look at that. I think we're actually going to be walking up the steps to get there, which is going to be kind of interesting. I had no idea there was this many steps in here. Holy moly. I'm not going to lie. I am very out of breath right now. 292 steps up here, and it was a narrow climb. But I'm so glad I did it. I, I paid $7 to climb 292 steps, and this view is worth every single dollar, or every single euro. Just look at how amazing this is. What a view. Holy moly. Wow. This is stunning, isn't it? I can't. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to go sit at that park down there. Huh. 292 steps. Well worth it. You can see the French middle finger from here and the Eiffel Tower right on over there. Look at that. Oh yeah, you can see the rain literally coming down. That's impressive. That was incredible. And now we're gonna roam around near the actual Sacred Heart, kinda near the artsy area. That's what they said this was. But they have an Irish pub. This area is honestly what I always pictured Paris like being like. It's actually it's so really amazing. artsy and very nice. Amazing restaurants, tons of artists doing street art, a lot of portraits. And now we need to get something to eat, but it's hard to decide because there's literally so many different restaurants that all look amazing and it's hard to pick one. Out of all the restaurants, we decided to actually eat right here, and it actually has a lot of great things on the menu. I might try pizza in France. I mean, a lot of places sell pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, but I want to get stuff that's, you know, like French cuisine. So it's tar, it's tough. I was gonna say it's tar because I was looking at the <laughs> tartare de uh, beef. Oh, I might get steak frites. That would be a good thing to get here. And maybe even some crepes. It all looks amazing. I'm gonna tell you guys something. It was so hard getting to the top <laughs> of uh, the, the church itself. I really, <laughs> it was Excuse a lot. Guys. And I feel lucky that I was able to record my way down and I'll probably post that on Instagram, like do an Instagram reel. I'm gonna time lapse my whole entire like climb down my descent. And I think there were more steps. Almost every place we stopped, I've gotten a coffee, and we're actually going to be getting a lot of food here. I really do want to try a lot. I got to get some of the French onion soup. I love how all these cars are driving through here. They're like literally like such a tight corridor. That's really, I would never be able to do it. I would never be able to do it. But anywho's, we're going to get some soup. We're going to get some prawns. We're going to get some pizza. And uh, DTH is going to get a charcuterie board. I can't wait to see the charcuterie board. I'm not a big fan, but I know that you are. Oh, give yeah. me a plate of cheese. Yep. The and then, oh yes. And then also, I'm thinking about getting the uh, rib steak. Rib steak with french fries and homemade Bernays sauce. That sounds like a little interesting. And of course, the coffee, like I said. The they give you blankets? Look at that. Well, fancy. You know? Little You're making me feel cozy. I feel like I should get a blanket now. I really do feel like I should get a blanket now. Round one. The first round of food has already arrived. We have the pizza. I had to try pizza here. And then we've got the prawns over here. And then that's the charcuterie board. But you still got meats coming too, yeah, right? The charcuterie is the fromage. The, the fromage, fromage, yeah. And then we've got uh, French onion soup, the uh, rib uh, ribeye steak, and that's it. 
Yeah, well, so we don't have that much food. I mean, all right, we got a lot of food. Nobody in Paris eats like we do. Oh, well, this is more or less, I just want to sample. Try it. Yeah, Absolutely. we want to sample. Absolutely. Be fancy. Fancy. At this point, it's just a level of curiosity, and now it's time to try some French pizza here. Now I want to try a prawn. Oh, wow, look at this. That's a big prawn right there. <laughs> Isn't it? That's a big prawn. Some delicious prawns. The prawns are good, very sweet, wow. The pizza was mid, the prawns were okay, but now the main course has come out and take a look at this. This is the rib steak with the Bernay sauce and the fritz, and then there's all the charcuterie with the meats over there. And now I'm gonna dive in and get my first bite. The best thing is that I have my French onion soup that I can actually dip this in to give it just a little bit more flavor. So here we go. Okay, that's good. That's a winner. If you wanna get extra dangerous, you take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and let it just sit for a second. Oh yeah, hey, oh, and a little bit of this. That's the way, that is the, that's the bite. I'm throwing in the towel, I'm completely full. And it was a good meal, I love this whole experience. It's time to head back to the hotel. I'm gonna show you around a little bit, and then Moulin Rouge, I'm so excited. Our hotel is the Juliana here, and it's a very nice hotel. I can't wait to show you guys this. I'll even give you a little room tour. Look how fancy it is in here when you first walk in. You've got some sheep back here. And the one thing that caught my attention is this cool chair that they have in the lobby here. It's right here. I always want to point out this chair. Look at this. I feel like Gaston would sit in that chair. It's kind of funny because the room to my door is behind another door and I've never seen that before. So this is my room over here and look at this. You go in this door right here. See that's my room number 506 and then I have like another door. 506. It's like I have a front porch. I've got a front porch to my door. Here is my room, and I love it. It's a great hotel room. It's very cozy, and it has some awesome art on the walls. And I love how I have this little couch in front of the bed. The bed is incredible. I love the backdrop there. It's so nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Haunted Mansion. I got a little desk area. have my computer up, and uh, I'm editing some videos. TV. This is the entranceway right here. And then over here, you have like this little tiny like hallway that leads into the bathroom. And then the bathroom itself, it's really cool because it has this awesome stand-up shower, this deep tub. This tub is so deep. And then honestly, I, I made a mistake because I thought this was all like one stand and I sat like a drink on here and it just fell down because that's the sink itself. The uh, toilet is a little strange though. It's like kind of like a very weird like it looks like a shower honestly <laughs> doesn't it it looks like a shower itself and then uh you got a phone in the bathroom some towels the works this is a great room i like it here a lot there's not much of a view though because we're literally in like the main area but this is what you can see outside the window now that we got the room tour taken care of, it's time to head back out and uh, go to dinner. When we first came back, it was raining outside. So this time I'm gonna be a little bit prepared because the hotel actually has umbrellas to take with you. And they're the fancy umbrellas, the ones you can walk with. Look at that. I feel pretty fancy with an umbrella. Look at that. Perfect. I don't get hit by a car. Now it is time for Moulin Rouge. Look at this. I am so excited. Tonight's gonna be such a great night. This is the best. All right, it is time for us to head in 
to see Moulin Rouge and I am so excited. I'm about 100% positive I'm not going to be able to film in there, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to film uh, just the beginning part, like as we get seated and stuff like that. And then once the show actually comes on, they'll probably make an announcement that says no filming, but I'll make sure to recap it with you once we're done. And uh, I'm so excited. Like this is a, this is a big deal. <laughs> oh wow, this place is actually very busy. Wow. I am so interested in this show. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, oh, they're turning the lights. Okay. There it is. Cheers to Moulin Rouge. A bottle of champagne is included with your ticket prices and you actually sit with uh, other people at a table. It's kind of like communal seating itself. We have a nice spot though. The, the stage is right here and it's a full show. Full show. That was by far one of the most entertaining things I have ever seen. From the beginning, I was on the edge of my seat. I was gasping, I was laughing, I was singing. It was so good, like it exceeded my expectations. Amazing. I would highly suggest if you guys ever get the chance and you're here to see it here because that was breathtaking. Wow. <laughs> I can't even, that was, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't know how to continue the night now, but we must, we must continue. Seriously, that's a life moment right there for me. I can't believe I got to see Moulin Rouge in Paris. It was incredible. And tickets were like 110 euro, and plus you got that whole bottle of champagne. So it's honestly not that bad of a deal. We decided to hang out in the same area as Moulin Rouge and we made our way down to a little karaoke bar. Little karaoke bar in Paris. Honestly, from the outside, this place looks pretty amazing and there's a lot of cool lights happening in there. Look at this place. I would say I would be singing karaoke in a karaoke bar in Paris, but we did and I loved it and <laughs> That was that was pretty fun Pretty awesome. My voice. I'm losing my voice now. I mean it was a good time and now uh, I don't know I guess we'll keep going it's starting to rain a little bit though And with that, I think we are done here today. An epic first day in Paris. I love it here so much. It's so beautiful. My voice is actually like, I'm losing my voice because I was singing and having fun. And uh, yeah, uh, probably tomorrow we'll uh, start with Disneyland Paris videos. I'm very excited to share those with you because it's gonna be my first time actually going to that park. And uh, this whole trip has been 
amazing honestly roosevelt's are such a great company for having me out at the booth at star wars celebration i would never be able to make any of this happen without them and i just wanted to say thank you guys you guys are just like family to me honestly at this point and uh, i just uh am completely like blessed i love it so much so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye